are extremely pleased that you're here. It is good to come together for the purpose of more, yeah? Co-creation at its best, you get that? You're knowing what you're wanting, sort of, kind of. Sometimes, have you noticed this about yourself? We've noticed this about so many dear heart humans is that you you know what you don't want that part's easy because it just bothers you and then you believe you know what you do want but your vibration is still more about what you don't want than about what you do want and then we love you so much but you want to race instantaneously to whatever will be better than what you don't want even though you haven't clearly identified it not only have you not clearly identified it you've identified its opposite and that's what your vibration is about and so we're visiting with Esther just this morning about something and she realized because of our brilliant interaction with her <laughs> that she wasn't thinking about what she wanted she was trying to fashion the pulling it all together like she is the law of attraction and she isn't she is a cooperative component at times well at all times you're a cooperative component to the law of attraction it's responding to you in every moment you walk into any segment like this is a new segment here we are you walk into this law of attraction field we're not kidding it's a field an all-encompassing field that is being responded to by this powerful universal law that is at the basis of every other law that anyone has ever known or even thought about knowing and whatever it is that you've got going on vibrationally whether you know it or not is what the law of attraction is responding to and how it plays out is because of what you've got going on it's a silly analogy but bear with it because it will serve you it's like you walk into this field this segment with a bag of marbles that has every thought you've ever thought in it it's a big bag little marbles and some of them are active right now and that's what matters they're not all active right now but some of them are and the reason that they're active right now is because you've kept them active because they wouldn't stay active through time and through your life exposure to different things everything that you've ever thought you would not still be thinking it's just what you've kept active like if you had an experience when you were in your kindergarten years first second third fourth grade if you had an experience that you're still talking about you're keeping it active still thinking about it you're keeping it active and if you haven't been thinking or speaking about it it's not active so it's not a player in your today point of attraction you see how it works so we'll talk about this bag of marbles because you have control over it oh you really do and it's so fun when you acknowledge that you do and you practice it so that you really do because you chose you are so deliberate about choosing this time and this space for this part of your creating experience and you knew that there would be a lot coming at you in this time and in this space you knew that there'd be stuff going on and you knew that there would be ways for you to see it all day every day whether you wanted to or not you knew that the collective consciousness and the human experience of your interaction with each other you knew it was going to be intense and dynamic and co-creative and expansive like never before and you jumped in with both feet so eager to be part of this and now you're here you're overwhelmed aren't you <laughs> but you don't have to be overwhelmed you can be more deliberate about it but you can't do it all at once don't ask yourself to be clear about what you want all the time 
And don't ask yourself to have a method of execution all the time either because you're asking of yourself sometimes that you're not vibrationally prepared for. And those are the words that we really want you to take away from this gathering. Vibrationally prepared for. In other words, if we can convey to you in a way that you can really hear it, that your work, if your desire is to live happily ever after, and if your desire is to fulfill your reason for being here, and if your desire is to have a whole lot of fun and get a whole lot done and get this and this and this and this and this and all those things that you've been asking for that you really want, like prosperity and vitality and wellness and friendship and love and relationships and all that stuff that makes up the wonderful life that you have come to live and are for the most part living if you really 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 and you do want that then what you want to do is to understand that the law of attraction is with you in every moment as you step into this new energy field and this one and this one in this new segment in this new segment in this new segment and if you've gotten out ahead of it before you stepped in you have a better chance of offering the bag of marbles to those around you that you mean to but if you just blundered in and there you are and you've been on the phone with someone and you talk to them on the telephone in your car the whole way there and you're all activated about something that is the opposite of what you want and now you walk into that meeting where you want to get what you want you're not going to get what you want the path of least resistance isn't the path of least resistance it's the path of more resistance so there are a couple of things that we want to get out here first and then off we'll go to whatever you want to talk about when we talk about the path of least resistance some of our human friends feel uncomfortable with that because they've been taught to be more diligent and to be more deliberate and to set more goals and the path of least resistance to many people sounds lazy the analogy that we offered you take your canoe to the river point it upstream and begin paddling really hard because that's what you've learned is how you get to where you want to be and then we come along sort of arrogant and smart aleck because we know the laws of the universe and we say why not let go of the oars and just let your canoe turn with the current and you say to us every time that seems so lazy and what would others think if I just floated into happiness and we say they'd be jealous <laughs> but they might learn something from you they might over time begin to watch the ease with which you live life and the wonderful things that you let in because you're not resisting the things that you want is there a difference between is there my version of my life and sources version of my yeah, life yeah as long as you're in your physical body you will never appreciate yourself like source does you can come close but you've always got that edge because you remember what your mother said <laughs> it's hard to get over that you wore that yellow jacket and, uh, yeah. I get it I get it I get it I'm getting closer and closer your to true blending happens when you re-emerge into non-physical but see that's not the goal we do that here well the goal is to be in your body and aligned that's the best but can you do it 100% of the time you could but you'd be so bored because the contrast stimulates you to the more and so what you want to do is get into this accepting attitude that contrast is not a bad thing it's a good thing it's a chosen thing it's a wanted thing it's a necessary thing it's a helpful thing that the contrast is what causes the expansion it's a dance it's a dance between us it's almost like making love it's a resistance resistance and then surrender resistance resistance and then surrender. Oh, you're saying it better than we have it's like we've been talking about this sort of sliding scale of alignment and not alignment and not and so there are factors involved like how strong is the desire that's a factor if you really 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 want something it almost doesn't matter what you believe if the desire is strong enough it's going to take a little time but it's going to happen if your resistance is really 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 strong and you don't have any desire then that resistance is going to be the way that it comes for most of you it's that you want it but you want it but you want it but you want it but 
you want it but you want it but you want it but so you don't understand the law of attractions response to you because you go this way and this way and this way and this way and this way so you don't see strong fast enough obvious enough evidence that's why we like it when you become deliberate because when you decide that you want to feel good and you decide that feeling good means alignment and you realize that you've got a vortex version and you want to tap into it so you feel good on purpose and so you make decisions on purpose and then you calibrate to that feeling better by making lists of positive aspects and by playing the placemat process game and by looking for easy good feeling existing already matches meaning you look for what's already there you don't make it up in order to try to make it fit and as you get better and better at those kinds of aligning things then what begins to happen is you merely point at it and boom there it is and you think whoa whoa that is how it is supposed to work I wanted it from a place of clear wanting not from a place of guilt or compensation or trying to get even with anybody I just wanted it because I wanted it and because I've practiced that feeling of success which is what satisfaction feels like and I pointed and so there it is that's how it is when you want something purely that's why when Esther got that strong defensiveness back from someone she loves more than life itself nearly she thought whoa how did I do that? Because she now knows it's law of attraction, not law of somebody giving you what they've decided to give you. There's no law of assertion. It's only attraction. There's no assertion. There's only attraction. If you're getting it, you're summoning it. Once you connect those dots, once you set an intention and you practice the thought of it and you feel good about it and you find yourself feeling that way more often than feeling the opposite of it, and then boom evidence boom evidence that's what's so fantastic about being in these physical bodies where your awarenesses can manifest into things that you can then observe you live in this environment where you can interpret what's vibrationally in your atmosphere through seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching but it has to be a really strong signal before that translation can even begin to take place and that's what you all signed on for you said I'll go I'll sift and sort I'll define and I'll decide and then we come along to remind you and I'll calibrate until I'm good until I'm better at thinking about what I want than noticing its absence and once you get the gist of this and you start doing it on purpose then anything that happens wanted or not when Esther got that reaction back she thought man I did that I know I did that because the law says I did there was no equivocation in her wondering she knew she attracted it how did I do that well the next 25 conversations she had with that person said like that like that like that like that like that like that your opinions often attract from people places environments things things that you do not want Abraham you just gave me so much clarity when I was a kid I thought that my father had abandoned me and that's why I wanted to be loved and famous and rich and then I got that but it was from the void it was from lack and then I it's not enough is it you can't fill the void it with wasn't anything enough. it was you can never only fill enough. the void with alignment right it was never enough it was never enough and it, then I lost it all and then I got simple and I fell in love with myself would you say the Lord's Prayer to us again just start it our father yeah I know I know I know that's exactly what I just realized yeah it's exactly what I just realized you can have it all yeah. you can have it all you can have fame and fortune and alignment that's what you came for you can have it all because this business of sacrifice is the same business as putting the canoe in upstream proving defending justifying sacrificing and you're out on the bleeding edge with that because your inner being is not helping you at all you're rowing that boat alone it's really exhausting yes it is yes it is good I'm good really good thank you I love you I love you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next